So uh, for those of you that don't know us, I'm Ollie and this is Alicia. Yeah. And uh, this is our third project of 2018. So we're going to do another weekly vlog um, showing you every step of the way. Today's video will be us giving you a tour of the whole place and um, showing you the current state. It's going to be a six bed, six bathroom HMO uh, that we're converting here in Gatwick Crawley. So yeah, I'll walk you around and show you what's currently here and what we plan to do with it and then you hopefully be able to follow it week on week. Right, so yeah, follow me and I'll show you around. Okay, so I thought we'd start outside um, because this project we're going to need to convert the garage to make one of the bedrooms. So, um, let's have a look in here. So the garage floor is going to have to be brought up so we can put in some damp proof um, course in here. And there's actually a steel beam across, sorry not steel beam, a concrete beam above there as well. So we've got to be careful that when we bring the floor up, obviously we don't shorten the, the height of the room too much because we're going to have to accommodate that as well. Behind here, this goes through to the utility room, which goes through to the kitchen. Um, so again, we're gonna to have to see whether this wall needs to go back a little bit more to make this room a bit bigger, or what we need to do here. Um, so yeah, if we go into the house now. So this has got a nice porch, which um, will be really great for putting in somewhere for tenants to store their shoes and coats and things, because that's always a problem in hallways in HMOs is to find a good place to, to put all those items. That bedroom that I sh just showed you in the garage is going to have an off-suite bathroom and this is going to be um, turned into, we're going to expand it a little bit and it will accommodate two, two bathrooms. So it'll be the off-suite to that bedroom and an en-suite to um, a bedroom just in here. Right, so this is through to what is currently the lounge, which is going to have a bedroom here, like I just said, we'll have its en-suite right there. And then we're going to keep this as a lounge. Um, it would be quite nice and big um, for tenants to sit and socialise together, hopefully. Hopefully they get along. And then if you follow me through to here, this is the kitchen, which, again, we'll keep in this position the, through to the lounge. We were contemplating taking this all down so we had a more open plan living area. I think we're actually going to keep it in place just so we can provide a bit of a division between the two rooms uh, and also saves money not having to take this wall down because um, I think it is load bearing and therefore we'd have to put steel works and stuff in there. So, as I said at the beginning, there's a utility area here, which as you see I've just stepped down, which means that there's no damp proof in here either, so we're going to have to build this up, put some damp proof in here. And this will either become part of that bedroom or will expand the kitchen uh, to use this space as well. So it's like water meter. Stop that. Oh. So yeah, they actually left some pretty decent um, white goods, so we're going to be keeping those. Unfortunately, the vendors of this property decided to renovate the property just before selling because they thought that they would. Um, it would get a better price for it or, or whatever. So the kitchen is brand new, as is the, the bathrooms upstairs, the carpets are all new. So it's a bit frustrating on our, on our um, part because this isn't the kitchen that we choose, it's also not big enough, so we're gonna have to rip it out and replace it, like, probably. Um, and with the, the stuff upstairs as well, the, the sanctuary, I don't think they're gonna be the right sizes. But where we can keep stuff like the floor, we're going to do our best to try and keep those sorts of items. I mean, the carpets are perfectly fine, so where we can use them, we're going to use them. There's a, a huge, under the stairs, store cupboard, which again, we were, we were thinking of taking this down just to make the room a bit more open, because if you can imagine the bedroom's going to be here, you're going to walk in and all of this is going to be a, a corridor, as you, as you know. Um, a long sort of thin corridor so we thought if we took that down it might provide a bit of space but again I think when you go upstairs you might see this is actually a supporting wall so I don't think it's going to be able to come down so it's just going to stay as a cupboard but that's fine because we can use it for things like the ironing board and the hoover which are always difficult items to store and that provides a great place for that. Um, lastly whilst we're down here the garden we're not really going to do anything to the garden we might sort of cut back some of the some of the plants and hedges and stuff just so that it becomes a bit more um, easy to manage and 
tidier, but essentially it's not the prettiest of you know, patio areas, but I don't think it's worth actually you know, redoing the garden. I don't think it's going to provide any more um, rent or anything. So it's perfectly fine as it is, and we'll just tidy it up, really. Right, so if you follow me upstairs... So this will be the door to the um, garage bedroom, which will come out here. If this doesn't work here, we, we will come through the porch, but that's not the ideal scenario. So hopefully, um, builders will say that we can come through here. Right, so I'll take you into what's currently the bathroom. Um, and you'll see, brand new, um, so it's a bit of a shame. But what we're going to be doing with this room is, as you can see, it's huge. So we're going to actually be changing this into a bedroom. Um, and we're going to be moving the bathroom next door, which is a funny old room, so I'll show you that. Um, and that's going to provide two en suites for this bedroom and the bedroom over the far side of the property. It's a pretty good bathroom, really. Yeah, there might be some items that we can use, like the shower. Um, and possibly the toilet. Obviously we've got no use for a bath and this is likely going to be too big for us to use so we might be able to use things like this and medicine cabinet and things but and then towel, towel rail. Um, before I show you next door there's a massive store cupboard between what will be a bedroom and this other bedroom. So bearing in mind all the plumbing in that corner of the house. This we're going to convert into an ensuite for that bedroom. So it can obviously all link into that area of the house where all the plumbing is. Um, but we're gonna have to accommodate, because the boiler's in here, so we're gonna have to maybe do like an L-shape um, ensuite for that room so that we can still have a boiler cupboard here. So this is the bedroom that ha will have that ensuite. So I think this is probably the smallest bedroom, um, but it's still a good size. Um, so yeah, this, we're gonna have to, I think we're going to have to replace all the windows here because they're all a bit knackered, so um, that's going to take all of them out. So this is the funny room that I was saying about. So the story behind this one is that the lady who lived here before um, had two daughters and these were one one bedroom, sorry, two bedrooms, one each. And apparently they were always in and out of each other's bedrooms. So the lady, the mum took down the wall in the middle and just made one big bedroom. So we're gonna put the wall back up. And as I said before, this will turn into two ensuite bathrooms. So one for this bedroom here, and one for the bedroom that is currently the bathroom. So as with some of the properties in Crawley, there's um, these little cupboards here, so we'll probably keep this. Um, it's a good size sort of wardrobe for someone, makes a bit of use of space. So I don't know whether we'll need to have an extra wardrobe in here. Um, I haven't got that far in the plans yet, but if we do, it would probably only be a, a double wardrobe. So again, it will make more floor space uh, for the tenant that's in here, having this built-in wardrobe. Can you make the room look bigger? Can we just uh, show them outside again? And then into the final bedroom. Um, so this is by far the largest one. And um, because downstairs, um, the front cloakroom uh, bathroom is over this side of the house. So we actually have soil stacks and manholes over opposite corners of the house. So this bedroom um, is gonna have an ensuite over this side so it can link direct into that soil stack and it'll still provide a really great size room. Again, it's got this built-in wardrobe which backs onto the one next door. So, yeah, nice little cubby hole there. And it's got this area here, which is obviously over the stairs, which is a bit of a shame that it wasn't given to the smaller bedroom next door because this room doesn't need extra space. But it's got like, it's a bit dirty, so it'll need to sort of tidying up and sprucing up but it's got like an extra bit of storage um so this the tenant that has this room will have ample space so hopefully warranting a, a higher price than, than all the other rooms 
Um, and I think that's about it really. Um, we, like I said, hoping once I've sort of finalised the plans, builders can come in here. We've already come round with the builder and he's said that all the things that I've said in, in principle are fine, they work logistically and things. So uh, my job this weekend is to finalise the plans, send them over to the builders and then get started really. So um, no idea on timeline at the moment because the builder's not given me that, that information. But um, yeah, I hope that sort of explains what we're wanting to do with the place. And I hope you'll join us along every week to see how we progress. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next week. trying to work out where drain lines were um, on this street so that we potentially can connect to them and um, we actually found the vendors left us with the original plans for this house which actually have all the drain details here so this is our street, property here it? this is the street yeah so it's four inch soil drain here and four inch soil drain here and on the front so it's all the details that would have been used originally with this house for the modifica yeah, modifications and um, items. This is really helpful and really interesting. It's quite difficult to see, mm. but, but quite cool. So yeah. So yeah, not, not often that you get left with the original plans for a property when you buy it, but here we are. I was actually thinking if it's possible it might be quite cool to make a piece of artwork out of this, but I don't know whether that would be possible, but yeah, it looks pretty cool.